price of one. My table has asked me to share, not really a tip, just a little story, about where the word testimonial comes from. I don't know if you know this, but I can't hear that word without sort of cheering up. Because in ancient Rome, when men had to swear a testament or give some sort of evidence, they, they had to hold their private parts while swearing. And that is why you have testament and testimonial. And I just thought I'd share that with you. So someone says, can I have a testimonial? You know. <laughs> There you go. So, <laughs> so that's my pretty good information. And then my tip is, um, I've mentioned Bob, e Bob Etherington in the past. He's a really good, down-to-earth author on matters selling. He, there's one book called Calling for Chickens that is really brilliant if you want to make sales calls. This one's called Negotiating Skills for Virgins. And it's really, really good about getting your brain, your mindset, to where it should be. And the most important thing for me from this book is working out the difference between negotiation and haggling. Often we think we're negotiating with a potential client, when in fact they're just trying to get the price down. And as small businesses, oh, we need the money, I need to do this, I need to do that, and so we tend to undervalue what we're doing uh, and, and bring, the price, bring our prices down, perhaps when we shouldn't. To give you an example, somebody rang me up, wanted me to do some work for them, and I said, oh, have you approached anybody else? And they said, yes, but they were really expensive. I wonder if you can help. Well, I said, normally I charge a setup fee of X and an hourly rate of Y. Uh, but because you were referred by a friend, I'll just do the hourly rate, you know, and let, uh, I'll wait and set up B. And um, he started shouting down the phone and saying, I am only a small business. Are you trying to put me out of business? It's not acceptable. And I remained professional. I said, well, I've given you my prices. I'll leave you to think about it. And he carried on shouting. And I said to him, would you go into John Lewis? and say you want to buy a computer, but because you are a small business, you want to pay £500 instead of 1000 That, he shouted, is completely different. <laughs> At that point, I hung up, because, you know, I've got nothing <laughs> to say. But when, you're, when you are haggling or being haggled with, think John Lewis. Think they don't haggle, why should you? And that's my thought for the day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.